So, why are you looking for God? Why are you searching for God? Like, God is lost somewhere. You are looking for him. I'm looking for, I'm looking for. Why are you looking for God? Did you throw him somewhere and forget to carry? Your Majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well. And you are loving yourself. And not just like always, many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers. You are loved, celebrated, and appreciated. So, I want us to to do a little bit more on ourselves and our connection with the source of life individually like i keep saying this here that we are not forced to believe in anything that abigail says okay this is a personal race and a journey so the only thing we do for ourselves is to just help each other okay in a way that oh my good okay what you just said today affected me positively and i thank you for what you say oh what you said today it doesn't align with me i'm not going to pick that that's fine because it's a journey that it's different the way i see life the way i perceive the source of life the way i feel that forcing me it's not going to be the same way with you because we are different beings that's why we have different personalities who is the almighty to you why are you relying on another person's definition of the source of life for you I can't categorically tell you who the source of life is to me, okay? There was a time I felt like I knew, but no, I, it was when I deconstructed that I got to finally understand and I had peace. So it's not going to be what someone tells you. It's not going to be what someone points to you. It's going to be you, you experiencing this thing yourself experiencing this thing yourself so because if you don't do that you will think that um oh my goodness so these are words that are similar especially to those who claim that they're holy people to those who claim that they're spiritual religious people religious people those who have one religion or the other who practice one of these denomination uh, who are in one of the denominations or the order islam christianity judaism and the rest of them a whole a host of them your majesties they tell you um i search for god i am looking for god and that's why a lot of persons are confused today they are muslim tomorrow they are christian to uh, next tomorrow they are jews the other day they are these that's how they keep roaming around i'm just calling these three because these are the major ones that uh, we can easily uh, lay our hands on there are lots of religions a lot of domin denominations out there your majesties so you hear something like i i looked for god i was looking for god uh, there was a space in me that wasn't filled. I, I knew there was an empty space in me. But when I came to this religion or maybe came to this church, I, I found God. Some will tell you, oh, I found God in this church. So why not come with me so that you can find God as well? Why are you looking for God? Is God a needle that is lost somewhere that you have to go and be looking for? Why? The moment you start looking for God, that is the moment you lose God. I, I don't know if this, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The moment you feel like you need to look for God, the moment you start running here and there, because you are looking for God, you want to feel the power. Today they will tell you, come to this church, you are going to see God. Come to that church. You will feel it. My church is very powerful. No, you are a Christian. God is not there. Be a, become a Muslim. The, you, you will hear the God talking to you direct. Oh no, you are a Muslim. God is not there. Come and become Christian. You'll be speaking the language of God. Okay? The moment you start having that thing in you that you want to look for, so you have to leave this place so that you go and look for the other place, you have begin, begun to lose God. That is the beginning of your journey to losing the source of life. Okay? The beginning of your journey to losing the source of life is the moment you start saying you are looking for God. Because that is the moment to become empty. A lot of us do not know these things, your majesties. No, take your time, understand this. I keep telling you, 
I was, I was in this. I felt empty as well. With all what I was doing, practicing everything, the acts that one should practice, doing everything, I was empty. Until I realized this, that's mm -mm. There is no point looking for God somewhere. When God is seated in you, we are using that word God because that's what a lot of people understand, your majesty. Personally, when I grew to understand this whole terminologies, these whole words and the spells and everything, I, I knew that the source of life is not called God. To me, that's my belief. But I'm going to use this because of a lot of us who, who, who still call that. Your majesties, the source of life, that spark, is already in you. Why are you looking? What are you looking for? Just imagine you're looking for your child. Your child is inside. And you are out there going from one house to the other looking for your child. Will you see your child? The answer is no, because your child is inside the house. You left the house. That you are going to look for your child in another person's house. You were moving around from house to house. Did you see my son? Oh, did you see my daughter? Oh, did you see this? Oh, I'm looking for my son. Will you find your son or your daughter? No, you will not because they are not outside. They are inside. Until you come back, open the door and enter your room. Then you will see your child lying down on the couch or on the bed. That is it. There is no God outside. The God you seek is inside of you, your majesties. The source of life, that happiness, that complete happiness, that unconditional love, that source, that's, you no, know, it's just the height of everything positive is inside of you. And that's why I say unconditional love, because when you want to look at the source of life, you, you, you can compare that. That's the words that sometimes qualify the giver of all life and breath. Unconditional love is inside of you. You just need to work on yourself. You just need to withdraw into yourself and seek within. You didn't come here to look for God. You didn't come here to look for God. Which God are you talking about? Can't you see that there is a programming that we are all running on? Listen, 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 listen. You didn't come on earth to come and look for a God like, I don't know, where's our limits, okay? So when you, when I, when I use God, 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 you should know that I am communicating in ways that you understand, okay? But the term God self doesn't exist. The name is a word. It's a word, but see, the impact of the programming has already happened. So now, spirituality means reversing on wearing. So spirituality means that you are losing it. That is why if you are awakened, they have to call you mad. See, if they don't label you crazy, then you are not awakened. In this modern day, if they don't label you crazy, then it means that you are pleasing people. You are pleasing something. Because spirituality is when you come into yourself. You didn't come here to look for something or to live under something remember you are a cosmic energy listen listen before you go to someone to do reading for you make sure you are reading yourself or you know how to read yourself Are you getting the formula? Before you go to someone reading on your life, make sure you have read yourself first. You have to know thyself. Socrates, hey, 
The man said, man, know thyself. That's what he said, and I quote, man, know thyself. That is your greatest power. But we are here knowing something else, trying to know. We call it faith. We call it belief. So I believe in God. I believe in God. I believe in God. I go to church. I go to the mosque. I know God. Because they have given you a view, a perspective of how you should see God. So religion, the aim of religion is to disconnect you. Pa! So you are in yourself, but your energy is somewhere. And this is how they can use to buy time. They are buying time. Religion, politics, pharmacy, they are all buying time. They want entertainment, media, fashion. They are here to buy your time. So those who are working will know that mm, my time they are buying time so that by the time they are done with you, you will be in the mortuary. Majesties, my kings and queens. You know when you said that um, spirituality means you are losing it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is what people don't want to hear. Um, have you noticed that the moment you begin to go against the norm of the society, you'll be termed crazy. The moment your ideas is not the same with your peers anymore, the moment you begin to see life from a different perspective other than what the world wants you to see life as, that, that they look at you like, are you sure this person is okay? It's like he or she is beginning to go crazy. The moment you say things that is not the ideal for the society, it's not the world have known it for. You have a different opinion about the, the source of life. You have a different opinion about the Bible. You tell people, no, I believe, but not as the world want me to believe. That's mostly my words. I keep saying it. It's not like I don't believe in the creator. It's not like I don't believe in the source of life, your majesties. In short, I, I believe more than you can ever think of. But what is the difference between me and the world? Because mine, at this point, I have decided that I'm going to believe in the way that the world wouldn't want me to. In the, in the, in the, in the, the definition is, because I chose to, I said no, I believe, but not as the world wants me to believe. I think I have, I have, a, short, I have a short clip somewhere. Maybe I'm going to play that clip for you to see. Yes, I believe. I do believe that there is a source of life, but not as you believe. Maybe you are still under the spell. Maybe you are still under the system. You have not pulled out yet. Why? Maybe because of fear. What if I pulled out and then I end up going to hell? The fear of hell, this is what has been presented to all of us. We were guilty of these things. I was guilty of these things. We are all into this thing. But the effort you make to pull yourself out of this thing is what is important. Okay? And we can do this. We are powerful. But no, religion is a disconnection tactic. Like he said, they brought this thing so that they can cut you from yourself. Because they know it is only when you are unified with yourself that you are connected to the source of life. Why? Because there is no God outside of you. So what have you been looking for? You've been just going around getting yourself confused, messing yourself up. And they are there tapping from your energy. When you are there messing yourself up that you are looking for the best place, the most powerful place, the place that the God is living and communicating, they are there messing with your energy. And they know these things. And that's why, you see all these, those who, who are in charge of the world, do you think they are very religious people? They are not. Because they know it's just a tool. They might just come to do some things for I serve just to draw you more into the thing. They bring, put camera on, practice some of these things so that they make you feel like they are also doing the thing. 
But they are not. They just do that to keep tying you more into the, the chains. Okay? You keep tightening the ropes that they've used in tying you. Locking that padlock that they've closed your brains with. That is their aim. So, we are not here to say, okay, I'm looking for God. Okay? Now, there's something that keeps coming to my head. I don't know how I'm going to place that for you to understand. The source of life is not true. There are gods that have existed and posed around us, the creator. They have collected worship that is not supposed to be for them. In short, the source of life will not even want you to worship because it's already inside of you. Whatever you do is just for you to become one, to unify. When you are united with that source, you become a co-creator. And that's why you yourself are gods. So when I say we are God, some people are like blasphemy. Abigail is blaspheming. But when you look at it this way, the moment you become one with the source of life, you become co-creator with that creative force. Okay? And we, we see it happen every day. In your life, sit and think. Communicate within and understand what I'm saying. If the source of life is one, which is true, the source of life is one. Why do we need all this denomination? And they tell you all oh, the Abra Abrahamic religion. They're all uh, uh, practicing the same faith as Abraham. Abraham is their father. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. But if that is the case, it is one, of course. Why are you divided? Why can't Islam, Judaism, and Christianity come together, merge as one, be united, and then divert that energy to the source of life? Why must there be separate religions? Because we are all confused. Our mind is not just three religions. There are a lot of others, a host of others. It's because we are confused. There is nobody that will come and say, okay, this is the right way to the source of life. Because it's not. It's your way. Your way cannot be my way. And that's why we have different religions. And that's why the truth is, you have to seek the source of life for yourself. And, and communicate within you. Discover that, that source of life on your own. Because when you walk in the terms of another person's discovery, you will not reach you. This is the reason why we have different religions. Because these religions, it is someone that propagated these beliefs. This person has an encounter, had a connection, and you began to follow that person. Instead of you to also have your own encounter and connection, you begin to follow that person. And before you know that person become a god as well. And people worship. <laughs> When you yourself, you, you are, you throw away your, your, your dignity, you throw away your power, you start worshipping something else that is not even close to the, force, the source of life. 